Hey guys, how you doing? Steve Lav here. Hey, on this one here, uh, I got a call from a customer of mine. Uh, he had a, a furnace that's making all kinds of noise and um, starting to, starting to uh, make uh, rackety sand. So I went by over there and see what was happening. They had an old oil fired furnace there and they pulled the oil burner out years ago and put a gas conversion burner in. Now, the gas company used to do this around here and they used to service all these units. It's a it's an Economite uh, conversion burner, model uh, E20A, and uh, I can't get parts for it. I call my supplier, but what they do is they sell like a complete package uh, for this unit. You got to buy the motor, the blower, the housing, um, you know, and the internal uh, controls for it. It's like over over seven, almost eight hundred dollars for the package. So it's not worth playing around with these old conversion burners. Um, and this is an old furnace. It's not worth putting a new conversion burner in it. So I'm just going to give them a price on changing the whole thing out. Put a brand new uh, 80 plus uh, gas furnace right into the chimney. This is what I'm going to do here. But it's an older couple and, um, you know, a lot of times people don't want to spend the dough. And, you know, if I hadn't, sometimes I get these, these, I pull them out of other jobs and they're old and they still work. I, you know, I'd save them and, and sell it to a guy like this that wanted to switch over, but I don't have one. So, uh, they really need to upgrade to a, a new system at this point. So that's, that's where I'm heading and that's what I'm going to do. So hopefully it's not nothing great. It's just a small little, uh, you know, video to show you guys what these conversion burners, some of them look like. There's all kinds up, up my way. Uh, we got all kinds of different conversion burners, and I'll start doing more video of all the different ones I come across. All right, thanks for watching. I see a bright, bright conversion burner. Your fan, your fan bleeds out of whack. And like I said, it's not worth it's not worth trying to get parts for that thing. This is from the gas company. And yeah. They no longer work on these. Um, but we'll give them a price on changing the whole thing out. The old draft hood. I'm just taking some shots here, so yeah. if I got any questions, I got the information here. It's uh A little ranch, a little raised ranch. Got a big unit in here, 120, 112,000 BTUs, looks big. Turn it coming down. There was an old oil burner at one time. They put a gas conversion burner in it. But, all right, you can shut it off now. As you know, this stops and then the bottoms. Well, yeah. What's going to happen? It's going to heat up, and then when this fan cycle switch heats up, it, the fan kicks on. Is that is that making a lot of noise too? The no, fan. That's what I was going to say. It's, once this stops and then the thing goes whoosh, you know, and sends the air. It's pretty quiet. So it seems to me it was this thing. I go like that, you know. And I do it manually by just pushing that button in with the fan. It's up, it'll kick in. Like I said, the gas company used to um, service these. They no longer do. Well, it ain't worth fucking with it. If I had a used one, I might throw it in there, but I don't have one. Well, that's about it. It bleeds probably. I'm missing some teeth. I can feel it shaking like crazy. But it's not. It's not crazy bad. No, no, I uh, know. It's just. Uh...